Hello, everyone. I have to warn you, there will be some graphic images in this presentation, but it is the reality of the business we are in. It is a business about people. Now, on the day of his death, until the day of his death, one-year-old Simon Sparrow was an otherwise healthy boy. It took only 24 hours for the superbug MRSA to take him away. Now, 100 years ago, infectious disease was the number one cause of death. But with the discovery of antibiotics, our fortunes changed. So what if they'd stop working? Well, according to the World Health Organization, that is the bleak scenario we are currently facing. The price tag, an estimated 10 million extra deaths per year, and $100 trillion, that's a staggering 100,000 billion, up to 2050, unless alternatives to antibiotics are developed. On the other hand, over the past decade, scientists have come to the insight that most bacteria on our body are actually good for us. They protect us. In fact, our microbiome, comprising billions of beneficial bacteria, is a very important part of our defense system. Like a rainforest, protecting our planet unless we destroy it. Now, antibiotics, chemicals and preservatives do not distinguish between bad and good bacteria, and their use induces resistance. And our daily exposure to these substances decimates the biodiversity of our protective system. It also causes a whole range of diseases, including unexpected ones. As an example, the presence or absence of certain bacteria is now linked to the development of certain forms of cancer, a whole range of skin problems, and many digestive diseases. With our endolysin technology, for the first time, it is possible to kill only the unwanted bacteria regardless of resistance and without release of toxins in the environment. Staph effect, our first endolysin, kills Staphylococcus aureus, including the resistant MRSA. Just one single bacterial species, you may say? Yes. But this single species causes the majority of all skin and soft tissue infections and many others, ranging from simple school sores to deadly bloodstream infections. Last year, the BBC featured our technology, filming a trial among eczema patients conducted by Erasmus Medical Center in Rotterdam. Of course, the crew also wanted to capture on video the actual killing of MRSA, which is displayed in this and the next slide. Here you see two vials, each containing hundreds of millions of MRSA bacteria. The vial on the right is cleared shortly after, within minutes, staph effect is added. I hope you can see that. Of course, the BBC coverage put us on the international radar and it helped us, it enabled us to help thousands of people. But we got to remember that this is only a fraction of those who can benefit. Because with endolysin technology, we can treat eczema affecting one in five children in many countries nowadays, without corticosteroids. We can treat infections without antibiotics. We can give a 17-year-old boy suffering from an immune disease causing boils all over his body, all his life, his normal life back. And we, even, we can even treat MRSA in diabetic wound infections and prevent amputation. Now, I hope this introduction has triggered your interest in endolysin technology. But more importantly, I hope it motivates you to join our quest. This is not a technology that will emerge in 15 years. It is here right now. Support, however, will be needed to develop it to its full potential. We have ha helped over 50,000 people by now some of them may be in here. 
but millions can and should benefit. It is unbearable that people are suffering, sometimes for years on end, or worse, losing their beloved ones when a solution is available. So patients, physicians, and policymakers, please help us deliver this sustainable alternative to antibiotics to mankind. There is no need to wait, and there is no time to lose. Thank you.